everyone. So today I'm going to talk about three study strategies for effective learning. Um, and this is just an overview of the three study strategies that I'm going to talk about today. And there are space learning, retrieval practice, and elaboration. So first of all, space learning. Space learning is a study technique where you review class material over a long period of time. In other words, it is basically the opposite of cramming. Um, so six hours spread over two weeks is better than six hours right before an exam. I always try to remember that to incorporate space learning into my study routine. And the purpose of the space repetition method is to give yourself time to almost forget before revisiting the material. And I know it sounds dubious, but it's actually really important to forget in order to remember because when our brains have almost forgotten something, it makes them work harder to recall that information. And that is why space learning promotes long lasting um, learning because it helps us to learn more information and retain it longer. So how can um, we space our learning? Spacing your learning requires advanced planning. I usually like to start planning early for exams so that you don't panic and it just gives us better results for exam, especially for me. Um, and I recommend the beginning of the semester, you can start planning for your exams that will come in the year. Um, so what I tend like to do is to make a schedule and divide the material into topics and tackle each. You should like set aside a bit of time every day to study or review, even if your exams are months away. Um, so something for um, when we do our classes, we try to review material from each class but not immediately after class. So I personally like to spare some time, like one day after each of your classes. So for example, if you have classes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you might review the information on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday respectively for each of those classes. And as you study material from recent classes, make sure to go back and study older information to keep it fresh in your mind. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about retrieval practice. Um, retrieval practice is a study method that allows students to engage with material in an active way rather than in a passive way. And this increases and enhances long-term memory. Um, retrieval practice is basically retrieving information that you've learned using mental effort without having any material in front of you. So basically to do retrieval practice, put away all of your class materials and write or draw and, and everything you know, and try to be as detailed as possible. Then Check your class materials for accuracy and points you missed. Retrieval practice works best when you go back to check your class materials for accuracy afterward. Um, and of course, take as many practice tests as you can get your hands on. And if you don't have any, then try making your own. And practicing retrieval can be very hard. I know it was hard for me at least. But if it's hard for you, don't give up. And if you're struggling, review your notes and your or your textbook and keep trying to retrieve the information on your own. And by doing that, you can work your way up to being able to write down all of the important information that you can remember. And 
it's very beneficial. It'll definitely pay off in the long run. And just keep in mind that to not only recall words and definitions, make sure to recall main ideas, how things are related or different from one another, and examples. Okay, the last method that I'm going to talk about is elaboration. So elaboration involves explaining, connecting, and describing ideas with several details and concrete examples. So start by making a list of all the ideas you need to learn from your class materials and ask yourself questions while you are studying. And then you can go back and find the answers in your class materials and elaborate them on your in your own words. So for example, how does X work? Why does X happen? What caused X? What is the result of X? And so on. And um, as you continue to elaborate on the ideas you are learning, make connections between multiple ideas and explain how they work together. So a good way to do this is to take two ideas and think about ways they are similar and ways they are different. So that's all I have for today. If you have any more questions, you can contact us here on the screen. Um, you can email your advisor that corresponds to your grade level. And I hope you all benefited from this um, video. And I hope you learned something new about effective learning strategies.